Timberwolves. I'm the T-Wolves. All right, as this game gets underway, what's the key to success for Minnesota tonight? I love the versatility of Alvin. He can play many different positions. He could guard positions. He could score on the block. He could shoot it. Feet. He can drive it. He can pass it from the high post. There's not one thing that he doesn't do pretty well. And you know, to try to get a team of sometimes specialists to fit, you need that guy who's just pretty good at a lot of things. And that's Al Horford. First free throw, good. The Timberwolves coming off a tough loss in their previous game against Houston. Jeff, what turned your stomach the most? Seriously, Mike, what's up with these guys? They didn't close hard to the three-point line? What is up? That's how they lost. Guard the three every night. Just won't go for a point-blank range. Really good job clogging the lane right there. To Irving. It's called for the offensive foul. Shit. And the Wolves making a substitution here. Screen set nicely. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. To the rim. Team the rebound. To the rim. Rebound corralled by Irving. Hayward. Nice move into the paint. To the basket. Makes the adjustment. You can't, you can't give up layups like, like that. that. You gotta, gotta protect, protect the basket, the basket and, and the paint at all costs. Anthony 
Anthony Towns. Teams using the screen, trying to get free. Knocks it down. That's a two-pointer. Hayward on the drive at the rim. Gets the two. Lucky roll. Nice work getting into the paint to finish. Wow. <clears throat> this game is really polished. This game is really fucking polished. I don't know how they did it, but... Wow, seriously? Wow. Wow. This Timberwolves team is crazy. Oh, shit. Beats him off the dribble. Irving pulls up after a nice crossover and sinks the two. Excellent job of getting into the paint and finishing at the rim. Help defense there with the switch. Putting them on skates. Excellent feed. Moves around the defender. It'll count if he does. Mm. Oh, no good. And that'll do it for the first quarter. The Timberwolves down by six. We'll have more NBA action coming up for you right after this short break. Good close first quarter. Anything stick out for you, Jeff? Well, this is a first quarter league, Mike. You have to get off to a good start. And when you do get off to a good start, you help establish your habits for the rest of the game. Oh, excellent screen. That was one brutal screen. Now that's how you clean up a miss. Great dunk on the putback. Very solid basketball. Screen. Cat be throwing them screens, bro. Boom! If we can get Jimmy Butler screenshot real quick. That's not good enough angle. Roll, catch, finish. And a reach it foul. It's called against T. I might be going for everything right like there.
the Celtics get to inbound. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to be grabbing screenshots all throughout the uh, play, so. Excuse that. Try to get him as fast as possible. I'm playing on the highest difficulty, by the way, so it's not like I'm playing on easy or. Uh, I didn't touch any sliders or anything like that, so. Transition defenses have been taught to protect the paint first. Get shit out of here. Why are you settling for a three? It's not a settle. That's a great look for him. He's a knockdown three point shooter. Crawford's off the mark from downtown. Sweet fade. Gets a open look. Rebound snatched by Horford. First of all, he should have hit that. That was an amazing shot. Second of all, Jamal Crawford got to be wearing. He don't wear his own shoes anymore. He has his own brand. Uh, It's a drop. Nice pass from Kyrie Irving. Easy baskets are critical over the course of a long game. Here in the first half, establishing a tone that we're going to get to the basket in transition versus settle for jump shots. Oh, pretty shot from Jamal Crawford. You need guys who can beat their man off the dribble and finish at the basket. The Timberwolves will start the second half with a narrow lead, and these guys have every reason to feel good about how they scored effectively in that opening half. Great offensive display. Have a look at the leading scores for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Celtics are keeping things competitive after two quarters. Offensively, when they're in the paint, they've had success. They need to keep that up if they want to take the lead in this contest. These are the guys getting buckets for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Points in the paint. That half of basketball was all about the battle in the paint on both ends of the floor. Back and forth, like a great boxing match. The scoring down low is sure to have been appreciated by old school hoops fans. Player of the half. Carl Anthony Towns has been incredible around the basket, doing everything necessary to dominate on the boards. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. My 
Jeff and Jeff are ready to get started, so we send it back to them now. Welcome back to the Target Center with a second half of this basketball game. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Minnesota's got a slim lead as the third quarter gets underway. But Jeff, this one's anyone's game right now. It is very closely and hotly contested. I like how both teams are playing. They've just got to try to get a little bit more separation with some sound quality possession. There's the pick to Irving. Shot clock says 12. Good setup with the entry pass. Let's it go. And Al Horford with the nice look sinks it. He's averaging 14 points per game this season. You're not going to see Shit. better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good that was an accident. Defense, good offense. Good offense. One out that time. No. That's the type of offensive aggressiveness you need when you're playing in a close game. Here, he drives it to the rim, strong finish, and ties the game up. Down into the lane. Ah. Oh, he tried to put it in off the glass. They keep it alive for a second chance opportunity. Green set nicely. Sweet dish. Changes his mind and gets up the ball. Come on, cat. So it'll be Celtics ball. And Al Horford will be the man for the inbound. Two minutes gone by in the third, and it's a tie ball game. Too smart. The game is just polished. Like anyone who plays it, you can't really deny it. Picked off by Butler. Looking to curl in ah. inside, he rattles it in. You need numbers in transition to score consistently here. Forcing the turnover, then pushing the ball ahead and getting the two-point shot. It's a loose ball, and they come up with the turnover. Inside to the basket. I gotta go back to the tutorial because I forgot how to do the spin gather. Um, you go strong to the basket, you get fouled, and now you have a great free throw shooter shooting free throws. The Timberwolves are crazy. Boston by a score of 20 to 16. To smart. All the penetration to the Come on, cat. Got help. Jeff Teague knocks down the first one. Able to convert on both free throws. And he just flips it up as time winds down. Third quarter in the books. Minnesota's up by four. Save us for more NBA action after this short break. This one, anyone's ball game. What do you look for in the fourth period? All right. Quarters are about two things. Will I'm not going to take it easy this time because last time I, you got it I didn't really take it easy, but I was wasn't concentrating as much, and LeBron hit it basically a game winner three on me. Puts it in at the foul called against Anthony Towns. That's big time play right there. Well, like I said, it's on the hardest difficulty, so it should be a challenge. And now goes to the free throw line. Oh, Kyrie, Kyrie's on, of course. Able to hit the free throw, and it's a three-point play. How do, they, how do they already have him on the Celtics and the game's not even out yet? <laughs> I don't get that. Anthony Towns. 
Ah. No, Teague. Teague, the Teague takeover. Oh. That's like the, the reverse layup is a teensy bit overpowered. Cat. Wigs. <laughs> the NLSC. Okay, Gordo. Where's Jeff Teague? What the fudge, Jeff Teague? What are you doing down here? The point guard, aren't you? Act like it. If you want a team request for the next game, if you have any team requests, let me know now. Type them in the chat, WNBA or NBA. I'm going to try to run an online match. If that doesn't work, I'll be back to this. Picking different teams, though, of course. Lucas Lafaso, thanks for the follow on Twitch. And he hits the first free throw. 
Who are you playing, Jimmy? He gets two free throws, so they extend the lead to three. And Boston calls timeout. Very little time remaining here in the fourth. Hey, you're down the stretch of a close game. You come out of a timeout. You don't need a three right here. The coaches and the teams look really good. Man, it's really polished. Like, the gameplay, it's, it's very solid. I mean, look at it. It looks pretty dang good, right? Looks very good, actually. Get out of here. Jamal Crawford. Watch. Oh, yeah, they can't stop him. I was going to shoot a three. There's really no pressure here. When you're up three, shooting two free throws with very little time remaining, all you have to do is make one to make it a two possession game. Wait, did that say low clutch rating? He converts on the line. It's a five point game. And a timeout call. Oh, you can finish, I guess. Time remaining. I'm gonna be downloading it on um, the other console, so. Here's a top play of the 